Morning class. Happy Monday. Hope you all had a good weekend. Um, I know for me, I gave my girlfriend the creative liberty to cut my hair. It was getting a little too long, falling in my eyes, bugging me. Um, so she chose to give me a mullet. So if you look, wait, you can see I've got a nice, got some back hair growing, the sides a little trimmed. Rock on. All right, so this week, this video, I'm going to give you an update for May 11th, the week of May 11th through May 15th, and what you're doing in biology. Um, before I tell you what's going on, though, let me remind you, you have two more weeks of new instruction. That's it. Two more weeks in biology of new material to cover in ecology. So if you've been the type of student who's been turning everything in, keep it up. Keep working, keep doing what you're doing, keep getting credit for those assignments, finish strong, sprint through the finish line. Okay, and if that's not you, um, you've been you've been slacking a little bit. You haven't been turning everything in every week. You turned in two out of three assignments, or you missed a couple weeks and you're behind. Pick up the pace a little bit. Turn in a few more assignments this week than you would have last week. Invest a few more hours in biology so you can get your grade up. Okay, and if you are not sure what you're missing, check Google Classroom, check Student Connect. Okay, you can also send me an email. And I'll, I'll help you come up with a plan for what you need to do. If you're feeling like, Mr. Gingold, I am overwhelmed. There's, I have so many missing assignments. I need help. I can give you a plan. Kind of break down, help you pace yourself um, so you can end the semester with a grade you're happy with. Okay? So, with, with only four weeks till school ends, till summer comes... Work hard these last four weeks. End the semester with the grade you're happy with. If you have an F right now, okay, put in a couple more hours of work each week. Get that grade up to a D or a C. You're going to be much happier with that than an F. If you have a D, you have the ability to get a C. Okay, and in this, in the next slide, I'll give you some opportunities to raise that grade. And if you have a C and you can get it up to a B, do it. Okay, end the semester with a grade you can be happy with. Okay, but most importantly, keep learning. Because that's what school's all about. School's not about getting a C and passing and making it through. Okay, your objective is to make your brains larger and better. Okay, your goal is to be big brain. So in this time, even if you feel like, I like, well, what the heck's the point of a density independent effector? I don't know. Okay. Every time you read, every time you refer back to the text and look for answers, you're building reading comprehension skills. You can use it in any aspect of your life. Every time you analyze a model or a graph on a, on a worksheet, okay, you're building a skill you can use later in life, whether it's analyzing a bake statement, whether it's analyzing some graph you get from work, okay, whether it's some news article about coronavirus and they give you a graph. Okay, anytime you're doing work in this class, you're making your brain just a little more big brain, just a little bit more, okay? So focus right now on making yourself smarter, better, okay? That's what school's about. So keep learning. Even though we're not at school, you're still doing school. You're still learning. So keep it up. Okay, so this week, what you should be doing, A, finish missing assignments, Okay, if you had a crazy hectic week and you didn't do some of the assignments, finish that first. Okay, um, then read chapter 4.1, take notes on the whole section and answer questions 1 to 5 at the end of the section. Don't make up your own questions. Okay, uh, third, then go to the population growth worksheet, answer the questions in there. And then fourth, there's a video on niche partitioning. Okay, watch that video to see how organisms separate in a habitat, how they coexist, and answer questions on that. Um, and then your, your opportunities to raise your grade, the genetics exam corrections. Okay, if, you're, if you struggled on the first couple quizzes at the beginning of the year, this is a really good opportunity to get your grade up. 
And then um, if you want some extra credit, I posted a extra credit assignment, Backyard Bird Ecology. All right, um, so some ways to get help this week. Mr. Gingle needs help with his laptop. Okay, there we go. Um, ways to get help. One, you can send me an email or a remind message anytime. If it's between 8 and 3, I'm going to get back to you real fast. Okay. If I'm on if I'm on my computer and you send me a message, I will message you back. Okay. After 3 o'clock, it may take a while. Okay. If you message me at 2 a.m., that's fine. I, I'm fine with that. I'm just not going to get back to you till like 8 or 9 in the morning. But yeah, if you're if your schedule is you're you're a night owl at this point and you're doing biology at four a.m. and you have trouble, send me a message. I'll message you and then when you wake up, you at wake up at what like two o'clock in the afternoon, you can read that message. Okay, or you can message me privately on Classroom. Okay, a lot of you are doing that and that's awesome. Okay, um, third, join me in office hours from twelve to two Wednesday and Friday on Google Meet. Okay. I, you can sit down and do the whole assignment there. If you're having trouble focusing, jump on during this time and spend two hours getting a couple assignments done. Okay, or just jump on, say hi, ask me a quick question, then bounce out and go back um, and do what you do. And then uh, finally, watch YouTube videos I've posted. Okay, I'll post a few more this week. Um, pay attention for those, um, and I'm going to make make those make that video this week to help you specifically with the population growth worksheet. <laughs> All right. Uh, so the genetics exam corrections. So if you're trying to rate, you want to raise your test grades, try to get your grade up, jump a grade. Okay. Read the directions on the Google Classroom post. Okay. Tell you what you need to do to do the corrections. Um, but before you set up any time, make sure you review the study guide questions. It's the same study guide I gave you back in uh, late February, early March. Okay, go through those questions, see what you can answer. If you need to watch a review video, I've posted review videos on that a Google Classroom assignment for every topic. And there are a ton of videos on that assignment. Let's actually go to it. So if you go to those exam corrections, okay, Lots of videos to watch. You don't need to watch all of them. But when you're doing the study guide, okay, if you feel like you're having trouble with meiosis, okay, well watch this meiosis video and answer the questions. Okay? Only watch the videos you need to watch. Okay, and this, the, the exam corrections are going to be a great way to raise your test grade because this was our this is your biggest exam that we took. So correcting it and getting half points back is a great way to boost your grade. Okay, and second, if you want some extra credit, um, Backyard Bird Ecology. So in this assignment, you're making a Google Slides presentation. There's a template. You just have to fill the template out. Okay. Um, you need to identify one bird species, and I tell you how to do that on the assignment post around where you live. I mean, you can look out the window. I can look out my window and see a dove passing by or a sparrow. Just make observations on one species, and then apply what you're learning about ecology to that bird species. Okay. Okay. So, again, let's go back to this one. Finish strong, keep learning, and reach out to me if you need help. All right. Bye, class.